there, Tiffany and Brad here with Years of Years. And it's this day in Disney for February 10th. Yep, it's going to be 2022 in no time. All right. <laughs> it feels like we're just trekking along. <laughs> going, time moves so fast, right? I guess so. I know, I, I wonder if it's gonna keep moving faster till we just spin out of control or what? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I'm trying not to talk about distancing and the times that we live in here in 2021, so. Yeah. You know, I mean, well, that's no. all you make me want to talk about. <laughs> but it just seems like we're so busy and mm -hmm. just time just is moving so fast yeah. and I don't want to miss it. So many wonderful things are that's happening so all the time. And wonderful yeah. and positive. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Thank you. Yeah, so this wonderful day, something cool, uh, was released back in 1977. Wow. Candle Shoe, an American family adventure. Mm. Uh, directed by Norman Tokar. Hmm. Pretty bold what to call it cool. It? However, the lead was definitely cool at the time. <laughs> definitely a star. <laughs> yeah, she was yeah. cool. Jodie Foster mm -hmm. was the star in mm -hmm. this film for sure. It's uh, very, this was released by Walt Disney Productions and it, it was one of those good, fun, yeah, it is fun. 70 yes, films really good. from Disney. Mm -hmm. I really like the films they did in the 70s. Mm -hmm. I love yeah. to watch them. All in the like color palette and film yeah. of like The Incredible Journey right. and Benji and like just those 80s Disney films. Helen Hayes, actually this was her second to la or maybe even her last role. I think the, okay. the last role was just a narration. So she plays the you know, wealthy. I uh, um, like heiress. Well, not heiress. heiress she, um, I mean, it's her estate. It's her. Yeah. Lady Gwendolyn yes. St. Edmund. Thank you. There you go. Yes. So she is, it's her estate, but she basically takes in orphans, but she's always looking for her true granddaughter. There you and go. That's Casey. Where, yep. And that's where. Jodie Foster comes in yeah. and she is actually an, an orphan mm -hmm. uh, and these people and she bears the markings of this missing child yeah like scarlet. but she's not necessarily trying to you know right. she's been roped in make money in an Oliver yeah. situation she she is roped in by this guy who's got ill intentions and mm -hmm. his what girlfriend wife right it's know. kind of an annie yeah. story too they kind of like kind of mesh mash a oh, lot okay. of those stories well this was based off of a book mm -hmm. um a novel christmas at candle shoe oh, by okay. michael Inus. So, so then perhaps some of those tropes classic tropes are, that yeah. are available are in there I but just, i think the orphan story and, and mishaps i it's very hard and Delicate sad to, too. Yeah. to be in this position throughout the ages when children you know mm -hmm. are left without their parents and so mm -hmm. um they can be taken advantage of which is so terrible yes um but in this situation where Jodie Foster ends up with Casey ends up it's good like this is a good manner they're taking in children but they're running out of she's running out yes. of money and so they and the need people to that have figure, set casey up don't yeah, know that they, they believe know. there's a treasure in yeah, this they're home searching for this they've treasure. sent her in mm -hmm. she's like there's there's like a series of four clues throughout the movie like right. that can only be seen through like sunlight through a window or certain right. places and they're trying to like find this treasure to ultimately save the house yeah so they're yeah. that's the kids purpose and they're kind of hiding it mm -hmm. from um lady Gwen gwendolyn <laughs> so that you know she doesn't she doesn't even realize that they don't have servants mm, right yeah there's one gentleman that's like playing right. multiple roles to try and giving tours of the home right selling produce in the city everyone's so like we, rising yeah, to the, the and occasion. the other you know kids in the house are doing what they can to sell things to help keep this manor going yeah. and also give lady gwendolyn the impression that Everything's Everything okay. is okay, and, yeah. but it's not. Yeah, but they <laughs> love so her. So they need the treasure too. They're mm -hmm. aware of it, but then here's Casey, and she doesn't really care. She's had a hard life, and I think at this point she's like an anti-hero, and mm -hmm. she just wants, she just needs to be loved. Yeah, I don't really. want, I, I'm not going to give you the ending, but I, there is a turning point in her, her yeah, where yeah. The, the whole family and home is just at risk, and she has a moment where she's like, I want to make sure that people have something more and she yeah. helps 
so it's great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so and it, it's not what you'd expect, so yeah. it's kind of cool. Yeah. So go watch this candle shoe. It mm -hmm. is on Disney Plus right now, and it's a fun, yeah. what, Saturday, Sunday afternoon yeah. movie this is just a year, when you're chilling out. Yeah, this is just a year after Freaky Friday, so yeah. Jodie Foster, Jody Foster is like... Jodie Foster did lots of Disney. She know. was the big yeah. Disney star. It was always <laughs> hard. Yeah, I mean, I loved her in yeah. these films like on VHS as a kid it was always hard for me to understand mm -hmm. like because she went through a lull in her career and then she finally got an Academy Award and I think the last thing that she did was contact but like Jodie Foster <laughs> you know really mm -hmm. gave a lot to Disney and I hope everyone remembers her again and again and again for it yeah well and the best way to do is go watch it and i'll help keep these older classic films on disney plus yeah. if we you know and hopefully Freaky Friday is as good as it gets more yeah yeah hopefully they'll bring more of these but these obscure ones that's why we talk about these um maybe they're not obscure to you yeah. tell us if you love this film maybe it's your favorite i don't know <laughs> but that's why we talk about these classic films one of the reasons my motivation classic cartoons classic films all the Disney stuff is because we want it on Disney Plus and we want it to to stick around and come back. So yeah, this was a cool adventure and there's some more on there. So um, if you're stuck in the snow, I know a lot of people are and yeah. it's really cold right now for many people. Keep the candle burning yeah. for Candle Shoe. <laughs> Go watch Candle Shoe, you'll enjoy it. And that's it for this day at Disney. We hope you guys have fun and we will see you next time. Bye. Bye.